Hello, everybody. It is Tracy, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher here. I am just waiting for all the things to catch up. And I will give you a couple minutes to uh, to catch up as well, because uh, let's face it, I'm a couple minutes late, too. Um, yeah, I just my computer has just been ultra laggy lately uh, to the point that I like click on a drop down. And then I pick from the drop down. And then I like it just and if and because I'm not by nature a patient person, um, sometimes I will try to scroll or I will click and I and I'm not patient enough to wait for it and then I end up clicking in the wrong spot. And then it clicks on something else I'm not supposed to click on. So yeah, um, I am trying to exercise patience, uh, trying to stretch. <laughs> um, do you notice my fancy new? Uh, Oh, I can't see my hands. Ooh, this is a thing. I got to quit looking at the camera and just imagine what I'm doing. But I can't, I can't make, no, that's the wrong hand. This is the hand. There we go. Ooh, look at those. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. Banners? I'm not actually sure. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. So, so here's the thing. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm trying to drink. I should finish my sentences. I'm trying to drink more and not just well, get going um so yes i bought a new camera because the other one kept lagging and um or freezing uh, i i have mostly just dealt with like from the start of when i started this 10 years ago i used like leftover furniture and about i don't know it's probably four or five years in i actually got a custom crafting desk made and then i had bought a camera for sort of a different purpose but it kind of worked for this and then i was going to get a new webcam but no i just bought a new iPad and that'll work. So <laughs> I was using that for a while, but as soon as I as soon as I went from the free program to the paid program, my iPad stopped working. So I've actually like purposely bought a webcam to try to make this process easier with the intent that if it works and everything is good and I don't have any computer issues after I use it for a bit, I'm going to buy a second one to replace the other one that's not quite as good. Um, I got some lights donated to the cause. Thank you very much, Bear. Um, I like when people upgrade because then they can upcycle the other stuff and uh, one of these days you never know i might be buying my own i just looked at my lights and noticed that they're on two different settings too so <laughs> uh, i'm not going to fix that right now because i have to lean really far forward which will give you a shot you don't need but also risk knocking everything that i have everywhere so we're not going to do that uh, but yes because of the new lights and the new setup and everything you could see too many of the of this of the technology too much of it and my IT department, that being my very, very opinionated when it comes to all things web or technology, 13-year-old son, um, told me that I shouldn't be able to see that. So that was his solution was to put little banners up. And at first they were just white. And I'm like, well, they can't be white. So I had to put my logo, which you will notice is hand-drawn by yours truly. Uh, the letters are just like whatever font. I don't even remember what font that is. But I had originally made my logo using some graphics from Canva. And then I read somewhere that you can't take Canva, you can use Canva in your business, but you can't turn it into your logo. So I changed it a bit. And then, and I tell you, trying to draw maple leaf, whew, that was a, <laughs> so anyways, all hand drawn. Um, and I thought I had to start here because the project we're doing today, um, I didn't want to have to move everything. And if I moved it for the first part, then you wouldn't be able to see for the second part. So, but the, what we're doing today is the magnet board, which I'm so excited about, uh, and it's really big. So in order to get the full like view of it in the thing to begin with, I thought this would be much easier. Oh, see, again, Woo, it's right there, um, hanging on the wall. So this is what we're gonna talk about. And I have different options for you, and I will explain why we're a week behind in it. And this was just, oh, I was having so much fun once I got started. And once I got over myself, I'll admit that too. Once I got over myself, uh, and then so we're gonna we're gonna do that. This is gonna be lots of fun. <clears throat> but first, we're gonna I'm gonna give you some quick updates. And uh, let me switch my camera. Okay, dokie. But yes, Ooh, liking all the fanciness. <laughs> okay, for some reason though, there we, oh look at that! It did it all on its own. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Alrighty. So our spring extravaganza. Extravaganza. 
Uh, this is actually closer to three quarters sold out now. This is on the 19th. Um, for anybody who usually crafts with me, I, I'm getting ready to get back to the in-person. I think we're gonna, the weather's gonna be nice enough. We can be in the garage. We can even have the door open um, soon. Uh, March and April are crazy months. So I know it will be at least the end of March, beginning of April before I could fit in an in-person class of any kind, which the first one will, I will likely be this magnet board if there's enough interest. So if anybody needs any Mother's Day, Father's Day type stuff, Easter stuff, um, this is a good time to come and get it because you can, you can tailor your projects to be whatever you need them to be within, like within the confines of these two suites, we have lots of sentiments and stuff. So you can make the cards you need. You can even make birthday cards with these. It's all just like spring themey stuff, right? Um, because it, it might be a bit before we can get to the next thing. So this is a good chance to do that if you're doing that. Um, these are in no particular order, but I'm just going to give you some reminders. Um, we had this discussion the one day about in colors and how they, this is, this is my cheat sheet that I use to get hex codes for when I do stuff online to make them match the Stampin' Up colors. Because look at how tech savvy I am. Um, so this is my cheat sheet, but I, I don't know what I did with my other prettier graphic that I had. So this was so I would remember to tell you these in colors, two of which I'm going to be very sad to see go. Um, they're not going to be available pretty soon. Uh, end of April, they are officially stopped selling, but um, some of them are already on, on um, low inventory. Some of them, I think bits and pieces have already sold out. This is the ink pad the re-inker, the cardstock, the ribbon, the embellishments. Uh, there's some doilies for one of them. There's some note cards, I think, for one of them. Anything with an in color in it from this group. The, the newer ones have one more year to go, but this, this one group was Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, and everybody's favorite, Misty Moonlight. Um, they're already starting to, to sell out. And, and the more, I've got another sale to tell you about, the more people start getting close to that deadline, the more they're all of a sudden going to start to buy. So there is no guarantee that these will be in stock for any length of time. So if you need to stock up on any of this stuff, now is the time. If you do it before the end of February, you get celebration stuff. So that's always good. Um, this one, I'm not going to do a, a lot of details just for your planning, your shopping planning. Um, and I don't know why this printed out at like three quarters the size, because my printer's possessed is my guess. But starting on March 1st, the mini stamp in a box machine which is adorable. And I will do a, I'll do a thing on the, when this gets closer, um, comparing like the, the full size, which we used to have a big shot. And now we have the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and the regular size stamp and cut and emboss machine. And those are just too long. So I'm, I think I'm just going to call them like the machine and the mini machine. So I will do a comparison on, you know, cause then I can say, oh, we need to cut that. Let me get the machine out. <laughs> um, so, cause it will amuse me. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, this machine is going to be 20% off though. And then I love these dies. Oh, I love those dies. So those, those dies, I think there's nine sets. Nope, that's totally wrong. Three, six, nine, 12, there's 13 sets. I missed an entire row. Uh, these and all of these bundles, which they have, um, are, all, are all also 20% off. Now, when you take a stamp set and a set of dies and you put them together, you already get a 10% discount. Now add 20% on top of that, Come on, 30%. I don't know if that math actually tracks, but in my brain, 30% off, got to buy it. So this starts on March 1st. So there will be more details to come, but just to give you a heads up, because we just found out about that today. Uh, I'm going to share a video probably tomorrow, I think is when I had it set to go. Um, they just released another, they're doing lots of videos for this kit, which is awesome. Um, and, I, and I figured out how to share them. So that's even better. Uh, and it shows the bonus kit. So you get, like you get the nine cards, and you get the stamp set, and this all coordinates with that gorgeous horizon paper. So you get like a full paper pumpkin kit. So with a stamp set and all that. And then in addition, you get another entire free stamp set because it is the anniversary month for paper pumpkin. And one of the videos today, they actually hold up the stamp set and show up pretty good for people to see. So if you want an idea what this free, you never know what the other stuff looks like. This is made from a sample. So I know these happen to be from the free set. This is made, sorry, this is made as an alternative sample. And these I know are from the other set. Um, I think that like, thanks, happy birthday. Thinking of you, I can't remember. Those with this, like, and I like this nice font here, um, comes from the Gashwell kit stamp set. Paper pumpkin goes up at 1st of March, the price goes up. So best deal, lock it in for, for the next three, six, 12 months, whichever, if you want. If you do it before the end of the month, celebration. 
again, I will help you all the time to get the free stuff. I love free stuff. Uh, and this is sort of earned free stuff. Do a little bit, get a lot more. So here's my celebration reminders. Multiples of 60 will get you free stuff. An order of 375 or more combined, and this can be you and all your friends, and you know, group up your orders. Common Camellia set and best deal ever $135 for $165 worth of product, free stamping up, uh, paper pumpkin kit, and a free two free stamp sets. Free, 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 free. But this has to be done before the 28th of February. Deliberation ends then. Uh, the all together set. We'll be waiting until the May now for the for the um, the blends. Um, I think I saw officially that those those they, they are either on low inventory or sold out. I saw them on the list now. I can't remember which spot I saw them. Um, <clears throat> this is the new set that's coming out. The there is a lot of stuff on the on the not orderable page, um, and a lot of it is not back in until May or sorry March, uh, like the second or third week of March, and then a bunch of it is not actually back till April. Um, and that's the dreaded shipping thing. Um, <laughs> I no longer even want to talk about shipping. Just, you know, it's there now. Um, so, which means they probably won't qualify for celebration. You have to the end of June before they retire. But yeah, if you're trying to combine these things, or if you want to get going on some of these things to use for your spring crafting or Mother's Day or whatever. Um, yeah, you got to watch for the stuff. If there's anything left you want, you haven't ordered. <laughs> Do not dally because it just it keeps going on to non-orderable status because of the delays. And then here's what we're going to talk about today. And again, my possessed printer printed almost this entire poster. Decided to cut this trip off here. So this is actually called celebrate today, not celebrate Todd. <laughs> Although I'm sure Todds are awesome and should all be celebrated. Um, and I'm going to show you what I got going for this. Now originally I had said that we would do a class this Friday. But yeah, I, I got in my own way. So <laughs> again, here, I'll do it this way. If you look up in the very corner, you can see this huge box. <laughs> so this is, the, this is the 12 by 12 box. And I ordered, I ordered this and I had ordered, I had a couple like other people that I needed to pre-order for before we even saw them. It was like, oh my God, get what you want. Um, and I'm, I'm really surprised that they haven't sold out yet because they are awesome and they are fun. Um, our CEO, of Stampin' Up just did a presentation on this on her Facebook channel. I saw it today and I was like, oh, look at that. The CEO's copied me. <laughs> I mean, technically she went first, but I've been planning this for a week. So she copied me. Um, but yes, so it got a whole lot more publicity today. So I guess we'll see if that has anything to do with whether they stay in stock or not. But um, So when I got these boxes on, I, had, I was so looking forward to this and the ideas, I had so many ideas going. And then I got this. I'm going to get my mine off the board. And can I flip this over without flipping everything off? I guess we're about to do a magnet test. Oh, I'm impressed. Okay. So <laughs> you will notice in the corner, there's a bit of warping. Why can I never start? You know what? I'm going to start phoning you, Tamara, and say, get your coffee, sit your butt down, and I'm about to go live. <laughs> You just missed the updates. Now we're to now we're to the frame, and I'm about to explain how I got in my own way. So the boards came in. They are 12 by 12 boards, and they have this magnet board in the back. And the corners were warped. Now, so I instantly was just like, "Well, that annoys me because I'm I'm a little uh, I'm a little particular about things, I guess." And and I knew, like right away, I could see. Don't put one thing in the middle. Put two things on either side, and you know. And so I was a little perturbed about this and I like to I like to offer you a quality product so I thought well there's ways I can fix this like I know I can um okay when you flip it over the the, the stuff does not fall off but it does get all smushed everywhere um so not that you would normally have cause to flip it over so then I I stewed a little bit and I vented a little bit <laughs> and then you know and in the process of all of this over the last little bit I have also found that um in other markets they did not have an issue with this and that part of the issue with the warping could be our extremely dry winters and how long they end up spending outside and all the you know shipping time and stuff. And that they were that's just what it was. And there wasn't really much I could do about it either because I was trying to figure out can like can I change them? Can I do it? Can I? Um, and I couldn't. So then, at the advice of my friend, I did get over myself and 
thought I'm just going to start playing with it. I'm just going to see what I can do with it because I'm so excited about this. I love whiteboards, memo boards, notebooks. I love like little, or, oh, I'm so excited about all the ideas for this. And I will be honest with you, as soon as I started playing with it, I was like, oh, Tracy, you tool, you got in your own way and you delayed everything for a week and it really wasn't for a good reason. So I'm going to try to show you this in like a semblance of order. When I get excited about things, I want to show everything at once and sometimes that don't make any sense. So I'm going to try to do better than that. Um, so the first thing I noticed is, oh, and I just realized I should have done it a different way, but that's okay. Um, is when you put the paper on, it hides most of the flaws, <laughs> right? Like as soon as you put the paper on, it really does cover a lot of that whole corner. Um, the more important part though, because it's not just about aesthetics, is that unless, I guess, unless you were planning on trying to, which you couldn't do it because of the frame anyways, um, there's no, there's no, um, it doesn't affect the function of this board in any way to have the corners be a little warped in. Quite honestly, that's what it is. So I like to have things hang on. You notice when I make cards and stuff, I do sometimes like to have things hanging out. In this case, part of it too was just simply because I, I had so many ideas for what to put on this board, but it covers it up. You don't even notice it when you're done and it, the board still works exactly as it's intended to. So, so I got over it. And then I started playing and like I said, I had so much fun. So here's what you get. You get this big, um, big box. And then when you open it up, this is how excited I was. I was so excited oops, just a minute. I can't make it work, that I ripped the box <laughs> because I was not being patient enough to wait. And inside of it is usually a box full of goodies. In this case, there is nothing except for this is like, this is about what's left over because I have used just about every other piece of the box. Um, hey, I'm just going to uh, throw that on the floor. Okay, so I, I also, the reason I left this in here was so I wouldn't forget to say it. Um, one of the comments too that was brought up was, you can always put this piece of cardboard that comes. Um, when you get your stuff, it's all nicely cellophane together. But So there's two sheets. Again, I have been playing with mine, so there's not as much left. But you get two sheets of DSP in it, and they come with this board so they don't get bent. So you could put this board in and it snugs everything up again, like put it in the back of the frame, it snugs everything up a bit, and that will help a little bit with it too. But quite honestly, you don't really need it. Like I said, once I started going, off I went. Now, what you end up getting, and I'm going to show you all these things here in a minute, but um, I just got to quit knocking everything around, is two sheets of DSP where you get to choose. Um, I picked the plaid one, because come on, anything plaid is good. This was actually a 12 by 12 sheet. Um, I cut a strip off the side here, you'll see why later. Um, so this actually is like split in half normally is how the pattern is supposed to go. So on one side are these two different colors. This is mint macaron and there's just two different shades of it. And then on the other side is black with white polka dots. And then the one that I picked is, there, I don't wanna do. Just make this a little bit easier. Then I'll quit moving things. There really a couple things on for you. Is uh, is the the smoky slate, which is, I, I do love grays. The grays are just awesome. Um, so the smoky slate plaid, which is on this one, and then on the other side of it is a pink ombre effect, which um, I honestly, because I have so much to show you, do not want to take this stuff out. It's very quick. I just don't want to. I don't want to get sidetracked by by doing it. I don't know if I can do it. Just a little bit. No. Okay. It, you just pop it off the backs. But anyways, it's a pink ombre thing. So if you'd like your entire back of your thing to be pink, I, I as much as I love Stampin' Up and I will frequently do things in pink. I am not a pink person, so I was never going to use pink. My plan is actually to switch out the DSP frequently. So for right now, this is perfect. This is spring, and I have all these great things on top of it. But yes, I can see having Halloween paper. I can see having fall paper. I can see coming up with some patriotic background for July. Definitely some kind of Christmas paper or more wintry when it gets to be the winter months. Stampin' Up! has so much awesome DSP. Look at me, that's two cups of tea. Oh, and you know what I just did? <laughs> okay, minor, minor issue. Um, so the tea never gets strong enough for me. I, I like the tea strong, I'm good with that. So when I drink my tea, I just tend to leave the tea bag in. And in this case, gosh darn it, um, I put the cup down, 
hooked my tiny little finger into the string on the tea bag and flipped the tea bag on top of all of my stuff. So all of that stuff that I thought was such a good idea to take off of the board, so it wasn't in the way of the board, um, a good portion of it had a tea bag land on it. So <laughs> bear that in mind. Now, so some of it it's okay because some of it I had laminated. Um, so bear that in mind when you're looking at the samples. The tea stain is not to give it the antiquing effect. It's because Tracy has a massive clutch. Um, you steep it for a minimum max? Oh no, I leave it. Well, here's the thing. I also generally drink my tea as hot as possible, which everybody tells me is bad for me, but I asked the, dentist, the doctor and the throat specialist, and he said, no, you're fine. <laughs> so um, yeah, my tea usually doesn't last very long. My tea is usually like five or 10 minutes, boom, gone. So maybe that's why I just leave it in. Uh, because of the type I'm drinking, I'm just drinking Earl Grey. And I'm just about done cleaning up my desk and I will get back to what we were supposed to be doing. Um, because it's just Earl Grey, it also makes good iced tea. So even if it ends up cold, it's not the end of the world. But I do like it piping, piping hot. <laughs> oh, I wasn't quite finished with those either. Okay, well, gosh, golly darn it. <laughs> okay. See, I'm better off just talking and drinking the tea afterwards. Okay, so you get some paper. <laughs> uh, you get this instruction book, which you can follow to the letter if you want. Um, I can't even open it, there we go. Because did I open it at all when I made mine? No, I did not. <laughs> I didn't even open it. Uh, so it shows you how to put the pockets together. It shows you how to put the paper in, gives you some ideas for decorating things up. Oh, the decorating possibilities, there's so many of them. The one thing I did look at, <clears throat> like I said, I didn't even open it. Um, what I did look at, <laughs> I want to roll today, Tamara, Whee! Um, is on the back, it always tells you the coordinating colors. Well, look, because I have a new camera, I do have the light shining in on it. But look at this. This is very exciting. If I could hold it still, it would probably stay in focus. So this tells me that Blushing Bride, <clears throat> excuse me, I need a drink. Scared to test the cup of tea. <clears throat> the Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mint macaron and smoky slate. Um, I think they spelled smoky small wrong on here, or is it just how I smell it? Spell it. They did. They spelled smoky slate wrong on their on their paper. Just notice that. They smelt it like smoky bear as opposed to smoky like you know the air is smoky. Um, anyways, it has the coordinating colors on here, and it will give you a picture of what your kit looks like if you aren't seeing the kit that Tracy completely went across and um, pilfered through the entire thing and then spilled tea on. So the board itself is not magnetic. The magnetic is on the clips, correct? No. The, um, the board itself is magnetic, and then the clips have the magnet on them. So if, if you, the, the magnet has to have something metallic to stick to. So the board itself is like the metallic part. This is the magnet, and then it sticks. And it sticks quite well. Um, I will show you my calendar that I put different magnets on. And, uh, and yeah, and even with the layer of paper between this and the board, um, it still works quite well. I did try to put one of the magnets through a piece of cardstock, like not on the back of the cardstock, but over top of the cardstock. And um, oops, because I've already destroyed everything, I'm taking the board apart. Um, and it, and the, the cardstock is too thick for the magnets to work through, like a small, you'd have to have a pretty hefty magnet, I think. Okay, so now I flipped it over, but this is a really pale pink. <laughs> It doesn't really show up in my very bright office, but you can see it's kind of ombre, right? And then let me put that back down because I want the plaid. And then this is the board, which is shiny. So, and you can't actually see anything. It just, it looks like, like a piece of, I don't know, magnet board, whatever that is, on top of a piece of that Barker board that makes it magnetic. Um, and as you can see, I did it rather quickly. My little pins. As long as you pull the pins all the way open so that when you go to put it back in, they're not in the way, it actually goes together pretty quick. And you just pop things in with your, or pop these pins down with your fingers. So like I said, I plan to change mine out a bunch. I've seen some boards that have hinges on the back. We can get a really fancy board. Um, uh, you can get, if you, if you knew you weren't going to change it, like you were going to make it once and that was that, then um, you could put like different, you could put nails or whatever in the back. Um, and then it would be, you wouldn't have to do that with your fingers, but really to do it the one time is no big deal. 
Okay, so we got our DSP. You get these things. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, it looks just like a shirt. And I can show you on this side, although you kind of get an idea that I've already decorated it. Um, this particular color, which is a bit macaron, this shirt looks like a, like a nurse's scrub to me. The other one's already folded up. Um, so you get two of those pockets that you can fold up. Oh, geez, now I got magnets sticking to everything. Um, I'll show you the other one in a minute. And then you get a bunch of sheets. Now remember, I know you're all gonna be jealous, but remember when you get yours, they don't have tea on them. That's a special effect you have to do. Yeah, the dies will not stick. Like you need a magnet to stick to this, this board. Um, I saw somebody who said they thought it would be great to be able to like put their mag or put their dies on it. See, this is where not putting your stuff away. So here's one of my dies and it in no way sticks to this board. Right now, if you, and I mean, I guess you could take this board and put magnets on it and then stick the dies to, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, okay, so yes, your sheets will not come with tea stains on them. As you will notice though, there's not very much left on my sheets um, that I did. Uh, if, if you want a real entertainment, um, I, could, uh, I could try to read you that this was the English sheet. This one is German. Yep, German, because um, certain words I recognize and I'm a German. So we'll get Tamara to read this to us later. Uh, this one is the Dutch one, which I had lots of fun pronouncing, but well, maybe, maybe Nicole, um, I don't know if you actually speak, speak Dutch, um, but maybe you could, uh, Maybe you could read that one out for us because I'm pretty sure my pronunciation is nowhere close. And then despite the fact that I took like eight years of French and a couple extra French courses, I'm not even going to attempt to read the French one out. I will tell you though, that sometimes the words like important is the same in French and English. Maybe not how you say it, but how you spell it. And this word right here, I took off the French, um, the French label. And we'll see if when I show you my samples, if you can figure out which one it is. And I'm also going to make a sample are you ready, Tamara? Are you ready for a, a really good laugh? You speak no Dutch, but French. Okay, you could read the French ones. I'll do the Dutch ones, because believe me, I was having fun pronouncing the Dutch ones. When we went to Holland, um, oh, I, it, it's so musical and lyrical. Like, we went on a couple tours and stuff, and, you do, and to just listen to other people talk, it is such a great language to listen to. Um, and so that's how I pronounce it very lyrically, you know, not with any actual knowledge of how it's pronounced. So I'll do that one day. Um, but this one I'm going to make something with just because I think it's fun. Uh, lac Liebe. <laughs> there you go. Other than Liebe or Liebe, I don't know. Uh, this is Live, Laugh, Love. In some order or another. I'm not actually sure that's the exact order. Uh, but that's what that says. So anyways, you can have lots of fun with the other colors is my point or the, sorry, the other languages. And yes, I used one of the French ones on one of my projects because the word is the, works in English as well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you really quickly just so that I can start putting all this stuff together, um, that how these things go together. So, and I decorated this one beforehand because I wanted to, because I couldn't wait. I was gonna do it all at once, but I was having too much fun. So I couldn't stop and I thought, no, I wanna show you the, the, this whole kit, so Sarah, that's the CEO, when she did her little demo, her and one of her designers put this kit together. So, you know, slightly crafty people, but still in 20 minutes, they made theirs. They took out the board, they put in the paper, they made up a few pieces and put it on, like made up their pockets, decorated and put them on the board in 20 minutes. Now I was playing with it for much longer, but you'll notice that I was doing all sorts of things, did not do one thing the way the instructions said. So these pockets come scored. And you basically just have to fold on the score lines, put down a little adhesive, which I just pulled the back off of, and close them up. That is the entirety between that and picking a piece of paper to put in the board, the entirety of the assembly instruction for here. And these, these are meant to hold stuff, so they're, um, they're pleated. I don't know if that's the right word, but pleated. So they look like, and they look like old school folders. I love them. The one thing I did notice that I will tell you, so this is one of them and you get to choose, right? So this one has the pink inside, the green outside, and then they both have gray or black options. So in this case, I picked a gray option with the pink inside because like I said, not overly pink. Uh, this one, I, I love the mint macaron color. So yes, these are all bits and pieces. 
off of those tab sheets. And it says, important, make time to create. So my plan with this one is these sheets here, which I have laminated because I have a laminator. Um, the laminating machine, when you get it, just as a side note, has, it comes with, oh, I actually did put those away. It comes with like the little blanks, the little blanks that you can use to laminate like an ID or something. Those are, those are smaller than this. So what I needed was a sheet. So I took an eight, eight and a half by 11, I guess, sheet. And I put just a whole bunch of them down. And I put just a tiny little bit of, of seal on the back. So they wouldn't, as soon as I tipped it to put it in the machine, they would not fall. So I think I did six. And I, and if I, I like to have enough space around them that I don't, um, that I don't cut them off. And I even put ones through there that weren't flat. I'll show you one of the ones I put through there that has, I think, three layers on it. So I laminated a couple of these. So when people ask me to make something for them, I can put down, um, you know, so-and-so retirement card need by, do it in my dry erase markers or my non-permanent markers and pop them in here. So this, this little folder was gonna become my to-do like project jar. And then one other one was just gonna be like notes and, and different things. Like I, I had ideas for them. But as soon as you start loading them up, I did notice that if you put, just one clip in the middle. When you put it on your board, um, it does tend to move a lot. Like if you put anything in or out of it, it does tend to move a lot. So with these ones, if you're gonna put a bit more in, it is a little better, a little more stable to put two clips and stick them on. Um, and then you can put whatever you want in it. And in my case, I'm also not a fan of gold. I prefer silver, brass, pewter, black, cast iron, it's just not gold. <laughs> so when I stand my little cards up, it also, the fact that it's gold clips. Um, to me, there's two things you could do with this board. You could have it as a, actually, it's probably three technically. You could have it as a memory board and just hang up like photos. And yes, I purpose, this kit comes with pink and blue ribbon and I purposely tied it with pink, even though it's a picture of my son. Um, so you could put photos on here and you could decorate them up. You could make little frames behind them. You could do whatever. Um, so you could have memories and and um, all the cool things. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna put, or you could make it um, inspirational, which I'm gonna show you. This is one of my favorite ones. I'm gonna show you. Um, I made this, most of what came out of here with the exception of the ribbon and a couple of embellishments that I put on some of the cards. Um, I made all of what I'm gonna show you today using nothing but what was in the kit. <laughs> um, I have a couple card pieces that you could use if you wanted to, and I'll show you those in a minute, but. Almost everything in here just came from the kit. So this, this is a strip. I told you I cut a strip off the paper. I made two things with the, the piece I didn't use for the background. This is one of them. So this is a, a strip of the paper. This is one of the cards. I did add these little butterflies because let's face it, these butterflies are awesome. And then these are all just like little bits and pieces from the thing. So you could do this. I have so many things going and so many wet things right now. Um, here, I'm gonna take the picture out. Um, so you could make this board totally into like a, a vision board or an inspiration board and just put pretty things on it. Put pictures and put pretty little things and reminders and stuff on it, right? Um, or you could make it functional. So my choice was functional. So this was gonna be my, my um, job orders. Uh, this was my menu. That was a complete menu for the week until I dropped my tea bag on it. Uh, luckily the tea bag took the, this is what took the brunt of the tea. So if you're wondering what we're eating for dinner tonight, you'll have to you'll have to be curious about the weekend, but the rest of it you can see. Um, also, fun fact, we are not having teriyaki pork because I did not label the freezer bags when I did the food prep. Um, and as it turns out, it's Mongolian beef, but it's already in the crock pot. I didn't realize that until I actually put it in the crock pot. Um, but you'll notice this one is the card plus a label plus another label on top of it. So this is three layers thick and I just ran it through twice through the little laminator and it worked perfectly. So now what I can do is, I don't wanna actually do it. Oh, here, I'll do this because it's already mostly gone. Um, I can use a cloth instead of my finger like a heathen. Um, <laughs> so now I can each week, I can write down my menu, which I did because tomorrow's grocery day and figure out what groceries we need and then do it. And then next week, erase it and start over again. And I do, as I'm sitting at my desk, getting carried away with my crafting and forgetting what time it is and what day it is, I do look at this and go, oh, I have to go at lunch and start that. <laughs> oh, I need to make sure that I leave time to peel potatoes. So I really do, I did start making it just on a sheet of paper, but this way I can, I could use less paper and be more environmental. 
Um, <laughs> one of the things when you when you sign up to be in the kits, um, one of the things you get is a calendar. Um, I like to have a little calendar. So I did make my cute little background. Some of the stuff is retired. Now it's all now it's all uh, aged with the tea technique. <laughs> Um, and all I did was I have these magnets, like this rolls of magnet, and these were leftover pieces that I had used before and like pulled off because you can reuse them more than once. So I put these two big chunks of magnet on the back thinking I want to hold my calendar nice and flat. These two pieces of magnet on this board, man, they stick. <laughs> but you could do whatever you want with the calendar, right? So I had this, oops. Um, and even if you're, even if you just want to put pretty things to look at, like this, this is one of the butterflies from the kit. I just put a magnet on the back, a little chunk. Boop. Um, even then you can still stick in a, a calendar in the middle. Your calendar does not have to be that elaborate. The calendars are smaller. You could put them on a, maybe not this color, but you could put them on just like a piece of cardstock if you wanted. You could just put them on a, I don't need this cover. You could just put them on a, um, um, put the magnets directly on the piece of cardboard here and, and stick it straight on there. Right, and that would be fine. I just like to, I like to to uh, plate my my entrees, as it were. And oops, this is one of the cards from the kits. You could easily just pop one on here. They they fit. They actually center nicely on here. I like it when they're even around. So you could do that. Like there's all sorts of different ways you could put a calendar on here. Um, I I laminated another one of the sheets. <clears throat> I also put a magnet on the butterfly. Um, I laminated one of the sheets. All I did was put just a couple little flowers on here and then laminated it so that I always have my host code. Every month I have a host code going. Um, so this is the host code. So mine is, like I said, fairly functional. I like this stuff. And then, <laughs> this is no way the order. Um, the other thing you can do, so I tied a ribbon on here. I stuck one of these. I know these are retired, but I absolutely love these little snail. A meal prep for me, I'll meal prep breakfast. Oh, <laughs> no, I like to, I do the whole meal prepping thing because it's it's better to go get like a bunch of, and stuff costs so much. Last time I went to Costco and got just the meat to meal prep, which is a couple roasts, a package of tenderloin and something else. Oh, and some ground beef. And it cost a hundred dollars for just the meat. But luckily it divides out into probably I think each one of those things made four meals and I think the pork tenderloin actually made more. Um, so yeah, that's the only way to do it is to buy it and just, and I and, and it's all freezer meals, right? You put all the meat in different bags in the freezer, put them in and then pop them out and all you need is a side. Oh, highly recommended. And this helps because <laughs> then you remember what it is you were doing. Uh, okay, so yes, I added the snail on here because I absolutely loved him. And all I did was stick him on there with the dimensional and it doesn't get in the way of the clip. Like I can still push in the clip. Oops, I got a little bit of reflection going there. So that works perfectly. And this is, um, I just made these on, on the computer and printed them on cardstock. But so this is my calendars and this is not complete. This is just, it happens to be my son's birthday. And one of our fellow demos, you can't even see this. Um, her birthday is the same day as my son's. And then my dad's is at the end of the month. So the two I could remember, or three I could remember off the top of my head went on there. So this is my little card. So I can put this on here so I can very quickly check and say, okay, this week, I need to make sure that these people's birthday cards are in the mail. And then next week I'll look and go, okay, I need to make sure these people's. So this is like, as I said, I chose function for mine. Um, I'm going to take this off for a second. What else did I put on here? <laughs> now, now that said, I did also decide, and I mentioned this in the earlier thing, um, if you if you sign up for the class, you're going to for sure get the calendar. I'll throw one of those in and you can give me an idea what you want to put behind it. Um, and then each month in the mail, you're going to get something to add to your board. Now, I might have to scale some of these back, but this was my Easter one. <laughs> and I made it all just using scraps on my desk, but I love this bunny so much. So this one, and again, I just put a little bit of magnet on the back. So Easter is April this year. So in April, I'm just going to pop him somewhere. I'm going to rearrange everything so that my bunny fits. Right. And then in November, even though it does not totally match the scheme, it does not matter. Uh, I will always celebrate Remembrance Day and veterans and soldiers. So in November, for the entire month of November, I will have a poppy on my board. Um, February's Valentine, a little Valentine thing. So somewhere in mine, I will always have something, you know, going on. And those aren't decided ahead of time because it's going to be just whatever happens to be going. Okay, so that was the function part. 
Um, I'm going to show you a funny. <laughs> These, I seem to be having a comedy routine today, so why not? Um, so to, in order to make those, I did, I told you I had little strips. Now, you can also use these kind of magnets. This is the funny part. I will give you the, um, I don't want to take the laugh away from you because I was very entertained when it happened, but um, these are what I was trying to get. And I was trying to get them as closures for 3D projects. So these things are actually six millimeters by one millimeter. And I was being very careful to make sure I got the right ones and you can't really get them in Canada. So I ordered these from the States. Now, if there's a great Canadian source, I'd love to know it. So these are what I was trying to order. But the first time I ordered them, I was not paying enough attention. And I ordered ones that were one millimeter because that's what you want. You don't want them super thick because then when you put the two pieces together, um, it makes like your flaps don't like flat and stuff. Right, these are as tiny as they are, these are super strong magnets. So the first time I ordered them, I paid attention to the one millimeter thinking, yep, that's what I wanted. And this is what I got, the world's tiniest, cutest magnet. Now, when you, see, I mean, look at it on the side on my finger. This is the one I wanted. <laughs> and this is, oh, I can't even see their magnet. Here we go. Can you see them on there together? Nope. Anyways, these things, this is about 12 of them makes this, and this is one magnet that I wanted to see. This is, there's no way to make these without, without going. Doo -doo. That's how, they're the ti world's tiniest magnets. So make sure you want the one, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I have them, but they are so teeny tiny. <laughs> yes, yes, very important to make sure you get the right dimension. So I have a whole bunch of these. So yes, some of the stuff that comes out will likely just have um, cause I thought of it, like you could put all sorts of things. I have all sorts of die cuts. I also always have things laying about my desk. So this little, this is just a little tiny mini card, but see these cute little flowers, even to take three of these flowers, put one of these tiny little magnets on the back of them and make it so you can intersperse it on your board, just to liven it up a little bit, change it out. So I did have that. Um, you get lots of cards in the kit. Um, okay, I, I have a laminator, so I, of course I have a laminator, <laughs> so I laminated mine, but I did see another demo, um, a lovely British lady, who said that you could also just take the card and cut a sheet of window sheet, so if you buy a stamp set, it comes kind of with window sheet in it, um, but you can also just buy window sheet, um, and just cut a piece to go in front of it, and then you basically just clip them together, right, so you don't even have to, la you don't even have to get as fancy as this, um, but yeah, lots of cards, and so these ones I have kept because I'm going to laminate some more of them. I, I just did the one sheet to start with because I, I need to have more like order sheets. Um, this is another menu one, which I don't know if I'm ever going to plan two weeks at a time, but I might save it for that. Um, I started making a list of the 10 steps that a project takes to make its way through the world of social media. Um, and so I think this is going to become a laminated sheet where I can take each project and say, okay, did I do this? Did I do this? And check them off as I go because I, I tend to get so excited about the next project that I I lose track of what I did with the first one. So I have all sorts of fun uses for these, but depending on how much time you wanna make and how much like you wanna, you'll have lots of little bits and pieces, believe me. Um, you can also use the components just to make um, some awesome cards <laughs> or you can make your board and then, so I, I made everything I wanted for my board and I still was able to make all these cards. Uh, plus, I'm going to show you this one other project, and then I have this tip too. Okay, this is why I put stuff everywhere. Okay, so this is our old embossing buddy. And if you want to take one of these stickers off the boards or off your little paper here, and you want to, um, you don't want to stick to something, you want to raise it up, which here, like on the dream card, I like my dimensionals. So you want to be able to do that and pick it up with the dimensionals. And this is actually a sticker stuck on a sticker, and then this. This one is raised. This the, I can't remember what this one actually said on it, but I like the green background, so so I can have my death card. Um, <laughs> only one of you is going to get that. So if you want to take these up, though, here since this is now tea stained and a little bit soggy, ooh, it's a little bit work. So when you take this off, um, it's very sticky. So you can do this to try to unstick it, so that you don't have to worry about it like getting stuck where you don't want. So you can actually raise it up. You can use your stamp and emboss buddy and and just tap the back of it, or 
you can do it on your hand. You can do it on your shirt. You can't see me doing it, but you can do it on your shirt and you can just take some of the sticky off the back. This by far is the easiest way to do it because all the other ones you get um, little bits and pieces stuck to the back. So yes, there's different ways, but I highly recommend this if you have one, if not a little cornstarch. Um, and I, I did watch, I was watching a demo or this weekend and she actually just had a little dip because I don't, Stampin' Up! unfortunately does not sell the Impossi Buddies anymore. Um, she had a little dish with cornstarch in them and a little paintbrush that was designated as the cornstarch paintbrush. And she would just take her little paintbrush and paint the cornstarch on the back. Because you use the embossing buddies are for the heat embossing. So. But anyway, so there's one tip for you. Um, all of a sudden, the sun has shifted and it is coming in in the worst way. Okay, so um, I showed you this one. I'm trying to get the right angle. There we go. So our note cards that Stampin' Up! makes. You get 20 in a pack with envelopes, already cut, already scored. Easiest things to use. Look at how lovely these little guys. And again, I like my stuff to hang over. Um, so if I was putting this on a note card, I would have to adjust that so that it did not actually do that. But look at how nicely these fit. Uh, and OK, so this is one of the cards. And then I backed it with some of the DSP that I didn't use. Uh, keep the right angle going. But they fit very nicely on here. Um, here's another one I made. So they have these really cute calendar layouts in there, um, which I did try. I hand wrote it, and I think that was my mistake. I did try to figure out how to make a card, and I can't find my stamp that says best day ever, because that's my son's birthday. Right, so I was going to put like a best day ever label with the, in the back. So it may eventually work out if I can ever find that stamp. But I also used it because I thought it was a great background as a calendar background to say celebrate today. And it really didn't even matter what month or day it was. I love this card. Um, this one I also did back onto white. <laughs> I'll show you one eventually that's not. Okay, so this is just the card without any backing. So that gives you a bit more, darn it. When I, when I got all this ready and I, I tried my new camera set up so I could show you my nice new banners and stuff. Um, the sun was not blinding me at the time and I should have factored that in. So there's another one. This one says, you've got this. And this is really simple. And the, like I said, these are all just little bits and pieces out of the kit. Uh, we have this one. Happiness is in the journey. And this one, which just says grateful. Oops, there we go. I love this card with like these little strips. Um, and I had a great debate with myself over this. Um, those of you, those of you who are, frequent followers, and you should be, of Tamara's paper trail, uh, will know that when you put embellishments on, odd numbers. So I put three hearts down, like three of the heart stickers, and then I have my can't part with them. I'll eventually run out, but I can't part with them for now. My little resin hearts that I love. And so I put two of them on, and I was going to put the third one on, but as soon as I went to put the third one on, then I realized I'd have six. And this was five, but it was two of one, but it was three of the other. And then, oh my goodness, my brain so I figured that I left it at the way I wanted, which was five, because that was odd, even though it's five amongst two different things. So yes, no, I don't know. Okay, so they fit awesome onto note cards. But the other thing is this is how well they fit on a regular card size. Sorry, I'm going to just keep moving this until I can figure it away. So you could easily add a pack of note cards to make use of any of these things you don't use. And all of these cards are double-sided, right? So if I wanted pink flowers, I could have picked that side. I chose this side because it's more me. Oops, there we go. Um, these are the colors of cardstock that are in there though. So that one obviously is the white one. Um, we'll try to get ones that at least go together. Now this is the one that is all like, well, that's, I can't see the, you can't see my flag. I wanna see my flag. Um, so even if you're putting them on the bigger card fronts, um, I still think this is the perfect size. You could put other layers on, but I still think this is the perfect size. So the colors that are in the, the kit are Flushing Bride, or the, the main colors, Mint Macaron and Smoky Slate. And either one, any one of these make these awesome, awesome cards. If you put them uh, across the green, uh, look at how well, look at, it, they're so easy. And I, uh, seriously, I did not use anything um, I forgot the name of these particular embellishments, but um, nope, totally forgot them. Um, but all the rest of it just came out of the kit, right? Uh, 
and they just they just turned out so quick, so easy, um, and so fun. Now, because we're winding down, because I I'm trying to keep these to a half an hour, but every now and again I know they're going to go to an hour, but I'm determined to not go past an hour. Um, here is here is my my pride and joy. Ta-da! <laughs> it's a treat box. Now. This is the box, there we go. This, this piece of cardboard, when you get your kit, this piece of cardboard has six clips stuck to it and the clips are in here so that the magnet doesn't stick to everything. So I took them out very carefully to make sure I didn't rip this box. And then I thought, oh, that's a perfect size box because you'll notice a gift card will fit very nicely in it to put a gift card or some chocolates or I don't know, something in. So this is the rest of that piece of, of the backing that I cut off, wrapped around and a couple more labels or stickers. Ta-da, treat box. And I even put a little uh, sticker on the top so you'd know which end to open. Now, has anybody figured out amongst all this stuff, which of these, hope, hopefully the sun will not make this too difficult for us. Um, which of these is the French sentiment? Okay, this one says you've got this in English, so obviously it's not that one. <laughs> the rest, I think you should be able to see. Which one of these is the French sentiment? <laughs> Skill testing question for you. I have to give it a second. I'm gonna very carefully, very carefully away from my desk, drink a cup, sip of tea. See the whole time lag between Facebook. I have, uh, there we go. I was no idea how, <laughs> right? So when I was making this box, this is how I discovered this. When I was making this, not box, but folder, um, it said important. And I was just going to write important, important, important on the side of it. And this was going to be like for important notes and stuff. <clears throat> but if you look on the sticker sheet, there's only two importance on the English sheet. So then I thought, oh, I think the French one. Okay, Nicole, what is it? Um, I think the French one, important is it's pronounced different. So sure enough, I went over there and yes, important is spelled the same way in French. It's just, you got to put the little accent on it. But when I did that, I, I happened to be on the French sheet and I was like, oh, would you look at that? That'll work. So Nicole thinks she knows. You are correct. Did you look at your kit or did you just know that? Oh no, you said you're fluent in French, so you would know. So yes. Gratitude is actually off the French sheet, which if I had any idea how to say that with the right accent, El gratitude. Um, but yeah, and like I said, I, I the live, love, laugh is a great sentiment and I love it in German, which again, Tamara, I apologize for my pronunciation and to all the German speaking people of the world. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's fun to have other languages and I'd like to learn other languages. So I'm gonna put some stickers and some stuff on my board that's in other languages. So I made cards. Um, any one of these cards could be put on this board as like, if you wanna have it just like strictly for the inspiration board aspect of it or make it functional. So, so many options of things to do with this. Um, oh, I thought for a minute there, I thought the board fell out, but it's just a piece of cardboard that I happened to pick up underneath. So I, this board I think has so many possibilities and so much fun. And I so thoroughly enjoyed playing with it. And um, I would like other people to come to class because I ordered a couple extra boards just so that we didn't have to worry about the shipping and or it being sold out. Um, and if nobody else comes to class, I'm going to end up making them all and every room in my house is going to have board, board, boards everywhere. Uh, and then people are going to start to talk about me. So <laughs> it is with great gratitude that I thank you for joining me today. Um, oh, look at my cool, my cool little picture in the corner now that the sun has, the sun, I have the curtains, like, so they'll block and the sun happens to be coming directly through the V. There's a little V at the top of the curtains. So that's exactly where it's coming through right now. So let me know if you were interested. The class is now going to be on the 3rd of March. Sorry, I should have said that. The 3rd of March is going to be the, we're going to do a virtual class. So anybody local um, for sure can get their stuff by then. If you are not local, um, I'll see what I can do <laughs> to make sure that you get any extras like your calendar and stuff. But 
um, you certainly can get your board to you and then, and then uh, I'll, I'll just put the other stuff in the mail. Virtual, I'm just gonna write this on here. Okay. And then if we decide to do an in-person class, it will be much later. But again, with all the sales that are going on, and I know, I, I think I say this every week, with all the different sales that are going on and we're getting close to the, the time when the retirement list, the retirement list will be on the 23rd of March, we'll, it'll be announced what is staying in the catalog and what is retiring from the big annual catalog. Uh, people are going to start buying like crazy. So if anybody was waiting to, you know, I'm going to get the kit when I make my order, that's going to start happening in the next little while because people are going to start, not, not, not so much panic buying, but they're going to be worried something's going to go out of stock and they're going to start buying. And every time there's a new sale and you want to bump up your total, they're going to start buying. So I'm, I'm worried the kits will go out of stock. So even if you want to not wait to put it together at the in-person at the end of March, um, I think you're still better off to order sooner than later to get the kits. So the kit itself is 34 plus shipping and tax, which comes out to basically $40. Uh, the first 10 get the extras added on. And then after that, I'll just have a little program where for $15 a year, you can order a calendar and 12 little mail outs because I'll go, I'll wrap around and go right from, well, we're at the end of February. So I'll go from March to next February. And once a month, you'll get a little something in the mail that you can add to your magnet board. So that was a long one again with gratitude. Thank you for joining me. Um, let me know if you're in on the class either way, or if you want to get in on the extras. And uh, I cannot wait to have fun putting this together and chatting with you guys virtually as I do it. Uh, if you have questions about any of the other stuff, I did kind of rapid fire at the beginning, please let me know. And uh, happy Tuesday. I will be back on Thursday with uh, the very cute uh, February paper pumpkin kit and some alternatives for that. And now uh, we'll be doing that. And in between, watch for some funnies and some postings in tomorrow's newsletter. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Tuesday night.